Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I'm back with another podcast. So I know I've been MIA. People have been looking for me like, you haven't gone live in a while. Um, I've just been going through a lot of personal stuff, and I just have not had the energy to go live. When you go live on YouTube, you have to bring a certain energy, and I'm not going to come on YouTube if my mind space is not where it needs to be. So i just really been just sticking to podcasting, voiceovers, and doing Zoom meetings. And the Zoom meetings have definitely been helping. Um, we had a really good meeting yesterday. I think it was like close to 300 people came um, from the Discord, and it was called Get It Off Your Chest. And I loved it. I loved it. I got a lot off my chest, a lot of stress, and a lot of people did too. I mean, we just learned so much from what so many people were going through, people being evicted, who were paying their rent, but being forced to leave because a lot of these landlords are getting greedy because they know there's a lot of people who are looking for housing. And if you're paying, let's say, $1,200 a month for rent, and I know that this person who's looking for a home is willing to pay 2000 Now they're doing all types of sneaky underhanded stuff to get tenants out. So a lot of people right now are looking for housing. People have been evicted. So, so many people are going through so much stress. And sometimes you think that you're alone. But yesterday's meeting, you know, taught us that, you know, everybody's going through something. I mean, there were lots of really good conversation, tears. And I just really appreciate people for just being open and honest about what they're going through, you know, just regardless in their personal lives. So we'll definitely do more of those. But um, if you guys do not know, I want to make you aware of just some things for the rest of my audience is that the rent uh, moratorium has ended. It ended at the beginning of June. So there's going to be a huge uptick in people being evicted. It's gotten so bad, we found out yesterday in the meeting that a lot of these companies now are now buying trailer parks. So we spoke about it yesterday, and now today on the news, it's being announced that there's a section of people in Miami um, whose trailer park has been bought, and these people literally have to be out in a few days. I told you, my daughter's not the only child that lives here. We got other kids in this trailer park, and it's not fair. Where are the kids going to go? Where are they going to have to sleep? when we get kicked out you know it's not fair this is what's been keeping me stable been keeping me afloat and for somebody to just come with all that money that they supposedly had and just snatch it right off from all of us is it's not fair and this is happening all over the country um there was another case yesterday in miami where over 200 residents are now being evicted from their apartments. So this is putting a lot of stress on people. It's a lot of things going on right now in the world. Um, so just stay prayed up. It's a lot of things that just does not make sense to me. And I'm trying to wrap my head around things. And it's literally just like draining because the stuff that I'm seeing is just not making sense, especially being that all of this was ushered in because of C-19. Now, if you guys do not know, it has been announced today that basically they're doing this whole initiative in Seattle, Washington, where they are giving you pre-roll joints. It's called the Joints for Jabs Initiative, where basically you can go in, get the uh, COVID-19 vaccine, and then they will give you a pre-roll joint. If y'all don't see the games that are being played here, I don't know what else to tell y'all. Y'all go ahead and listen to this news clip real quick. So you still haven't gotten your COVID vaccine. At this point, what's it going to take? The state of Washington hopes that for some people, the answer might just be a little bit of free marijuana. You know, kind of like bars and restaurants have been allowed to give away free drinks as vaccine incentives. The cannabis industry had been asking to do the same. And in our discussions, we decided that we could find a way to be able to make that happen. Brian Smith is with the Washington State Liquor and Cannabis Board. He says the Joints for Jabs promotion is a temporary allowance that runs through July 12th. Through it, state-licensed cannabis retailers in Washington can hold in-store vaccine clinics for adults 21 and older. After getting vaccinated, participants may then receive one pre-rolled joint and no other product as part of the deal. 
this was a big step for us. Uh, we don't, like, to my knowledge, we've never allowed the giveaway of any marijuana or cannabis um, to any adult consumers. But this was a step that we thought that we had some decent controls around it. I would love to see that happen in Oregon. Sam Rothaker is a bud tender at Kaya Shack, a cannabis retailer in southeast Portland. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. While they can't incentivize getting shots with free marijuana, Kai Shack is offering a 10% discount to customers who bring in their vaccine cards. They hope it does some good. Now, what I find really interesting about this whole new initiative is that this is not the only one. And this is why I just do not feel comfortable with this vaccine. It's not even so much the vaccine, right? Because vaccines have been around forever. But this has been around such a short time. But what is really bothersome is all of these initiatives and rewards um, that people are getting for going to go take this vaccine. Seven days ago, they were doing a giveaway for guns in West Virginia, that if you went and got the vaccine, you were eligible to win a brand new gun. Um, also in Ohio, about two months ago, it came out where the Ohio um, governor was willing to enter people into a lottery to win a million dollars if they got the vaccine. In West Virginia, those who get vaccinated could win some major prizes, like a chance to win a college scholarship or a new pickup truck. It's part of a new push from the state to get more shots in arms. Right now, 41 percent of residents there are fully vaccinated and 51 percent have had at least one dose. NBC News reporter Gary Grumbach joins us now from Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. So, Gary, what are you learning about this new incentive plan to help get more people vaccinated? We mentioned some of the prizes. What else can folks win? Yeah, good morning, Joe. You know, you've heard of those more typical incentives, things like college scholarships or a million dollars. That's happening here in West Virginia, too, uh, starting on June 20th. But there's also some things that officials tell me they hope it to be a wild and wonderful twist to the vaccine incentive program here in West Virginia. Of course, hunting and fishing is big business. It's a big hobby here in the state. And so officials are taking advantage of that. They're giving away lifetime memberships, lifetime licenses to the fishing and hunting clubs. They're also doing things like giving away a Ford F-150 trucks, as you mentioned, every week for five weeks starting at the end of June. And they're also doing something that's a little more controversial. They're giving away five shotguns and five hunting rifles as well, just for the fully vaccinated or even partially vaccinated. All they need to do is just get at least one shot. Now, organizations like Moms Demand in every town, they tell me they're not sure why there's a little bit of a back and forth between a deadly weapon being given for a life saving vaccine. But that is whatever the uh, officials say that they think they know their audience. And that's what people David. want. With declining demand for vaccines, states now trumping each other with massive incentives. Ohio got a 28 percent boost in vaccinations after its Vaximillion lottery. Now, Maryland giving away forty thousand dollars each day for 40 days with a grand prize of four hundred thousand dollars get your shot for a shot to win new york is jumping on the bandwagon as well with its vax and scratch lottery announcing prizes up to five million dollars and this morning the white house says that it's partnering with dating apps encouraging people to get their shots and allowing users to showcase their vaccination status when have they ever done this with any other vaccine I don't recall them giving me anything when I used to get the flu shot. This was many moons ago. I haven't had the flu shot in probably 10 years. But I remember when I used to go and get the flu shot, I would get a sticker. That was it. <laughs> Come back to work. I got my flu shot. That was it. But now they're willing to give out free guns, free donuts, um, joints. It just does not make sense. And the thing that's really disturbing about this, if you guys remember back in 2020, they were saying, to not smoke weed, to not smoke cigarettes, to not vape. This was the New York Times that was telling people this. They were saying that smokers and vapors may be at greater risk for C-19, okay? There were also experts coming out saying that you should not be smoking. And we know from the previous coronavirus outbreaks, especially the MERS outbreak, that smokers were more susceptible to infection and more likely to get more serious infection. I think the, the reasonable assumption is that people who smoke because of those injuries to local defenses and the, the information we have from other respiratory infections, people who smoke will be at more risk for more serious COVID-19 infection. So you guys just heard that, but now all of a sudden they're pushing people to come and get the vaccine and get a joint. Now, one thing that we have established is that this vaccine is not 100%. 
I remember during one of my live streams, somebody called in and she stated that she got the vaccine and she still ended up getting COVID. So if COVID is an issue that affects your lungs and your breathing, why then would you encourage people to do a joints for jabs? It doesn't make any sense. This is a lung disease. So imagine if the vaccine does not fully protect you and you end up getting COVID-19, you've put more stress on your lungs by smoking. And then on top of that, what's really disturbing is the fact that they're saying that it's pre-rolled. It's not like you can go in and say, hey, give me 10 milligrams of, you know, blueberry blunt or, you know, the cookie blunt, just whatever the hell y'all name these damn, you know, weed strains, right? You're not picking your weed strain. You're not even seeing what is rolled in there. How do you know that there's not something else rolled in that pre-rolled joint? And who licked the paper? Did they have COVID on their tongue? Well, maybe nobody had to lick it. Maybe they dipped it in water. I don't know. But it's just really unnerving when you really think about how deep this situation is. On top of that, let's not forget. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.